Story number 15, 2550 AD, Life in the Future. Nitron is a small town in the medium country of Habsha, which is a medium country that has pristine beaches to the east and beautiful mountains to the west. This country has a very nice climate with all four seasons, although the winters are harsh. The official languages of Habsha are English, French, and Greek. Where this country gets its name from has to do with the last two digits of the year it was founded, which was 2207 AD, and also the day the country was founded, which was January 7th, which is obviously the seventh day of the year. Hept is the, a, prefix, a prefix that means seven, and then the ra is attached to the end of it to form a nice name for the country. The country's national holiday is Habstra Day, which is on January 7th, which commemorates the anniversary of the country's freedom. This country is in the Southern Hemisphere, which means January is the hottest month of the, for them, and July is the coldest month for them. This country has five months of warm weather and seven months of cool weather. The work week in this country is Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. through 3 p.m., and the weekend is Friday through Sunday, which means three-day weekends. There are a few times each year where there are four-day weekends with a federal holiday that is always only Monday. An example of this is a holiday called Nanometer Day, which is always on the third Monday of November, and that holiday commemorates a battle called Nanometer that took place in November of 2302 AD. The year is 2550 AD, and there is a set of 21-year-old triplets who are two men and one woman. Their names are Cody, Kara, and Colton. They graduated from high school at 17 years old since their birthday is in January. The day of their birthday is January 7th. They have recently graduated from college in November of 2549 AD. On Sunday, January 4th, 2550 AD, Cody preached his first sermon as he recently became a pastor and opened North Nitron Bible Church. Christians in this town were excited about this new church. Kara became the Sunday school teacher at the church, and Colton is the youth pastor of the church. The year 2550 AD was off to a great start. On Wednesday, January 7th, 2550 AD, the triplets celebrated their 22nd birthday, and it was also a Habtra day as well. They had an amazing time spending time with their family, and the Habtra day party was lit, and the triplets had their party uh, birthday cake there. The beverages that were served are water, tea, lemonade, and fruit punch. This year, the triplets wanted their birthday party to overlap with the Haptra Day party. The birthday cake was a Neapolitan cake that was cut into 24 slices. Eight of those slices were chocolate, eight of them were strawberry, and the other eight were vanilla. This cake was selected since Cody's favorite flavor is strawberry. Kara's favorite flavor is chocolate, and Colton's favorite flavor is vanilla. When it, come, when it came time to serve the cake at the party, the triplets got the first slice since it's their birthday. Later that evening, they went to watch the fireworks show that started at 5 p.m. The show lasts for 35 minutes and ended at 5.35 p.m. The fireworks show normally runs its course from 7 p.m. through 7.35 p.m., but since Habtra Day landed on a Wednesday, the fireworks show took place two hours earlier, so this way the show does not take place at the same time as Wednesday night church services. Each Habtra Day party tradition was to have a delicious fruit tart in a seven formation, which represents the country's name, what year, and what day the country was founded. The fruit tart is prepared inside of a unique baking pan that is shaped like the number seven. The sevens don't stop at the country's name, as this country is on a latitude of 49 degrees south, and 49 is the product of 7 times 7. It was a nice warm day throughout the Habtra Day, and everyone were having a fun time with their families enjoying barbecues, parties, going to the beach, going swimming, etc. The Habtra Day party that the triplets were in was a beach bash, as this party took place on the beach. 
and their other family members also had a great time at this party too. Then at 7 p.m., the triplets went to church for the Wednesday night service, and Cody preached a sermon about the difference between salvation issues and secondary issues, and Colton preached a sermon to the church youth group about the same topic as well. In February of 2558, the youth group went on their first youth group trip, which was a camping trip to the mountain town of Nanoville, which is a five-hour drive away. The coming trip was from Thursday, February 12th to Monday, February 16th, and the leaders for the trip were all three of the triplets, Aunt Ingrid Benton, who is Colton's girlfriend. On Thursday, February 12th at 11am, the youth group arrived to the church and they got on the shallow flying bus, and the bus did not have to make any bathroom stops because the bus has bathrooms in the back. Each of the youth group members brought a packed lunch that they could eat at around lunchtime. Those who forgot or were not able to do so got to get lunch after the bus made a lunch stop at 1 p.m. Then at around 4 p.m., the youth group arrived to a campsite called Camp Nanoville, which is a Christian campsite in the mountain town of Nanoville. The youth group had an amazing time at the camp, and they played camp games listened to teachings delivered by Colton or Cody, enjoyed delicious food, and sang worship together. On Saturday, February 14th, it was Valentine's Day, and there was a special camp game that was set up for Valentine's Day, which was called Valentine Battles, which was where each kayak carried five heart balloons, and the youth group was split into four teams for the game, and these four teams were led by a camp leader. The object of the game was to be the last one standing. If all five heart balloons were popped, then that team was out. The team had to use nerf guns to attempt to shoot the heart balloons. The teams were teams blue, red, green, and yellow. The team that won was team blue, which was led by Colton. Everyone had fun in that game. Throughout the year 2558, the triplets, as well as their family and their church, are having such an awesome year that will be unforgettable and remembered as one of the best years ever. There were a lot of cool things that took place. The church started a food bank at the time when it first opened, and this food bank donated food and water to those in need. The church has sound doctrine as Cody does not sugarcoat the gospel, and Cody also goes street preaching on a regular basis. In May of 2558, the triplets went on an awesome vacation to the town of Quantum Max, which is a beautiful ski town in southern Hampshire. The ski resort they were in is Quantum Max Ski Resort. On Saturday, May 16th, the triplets went to a cafe called the Quantum Max Ski Resort Cafe, and they got a waffle with peanut butter, bananas, bacon, and grade 8 dark robust maple syrup. The drink they had with their breakfast is a medium pumpkin spice latte. Then, after they ate breakfast, they took the tram to the uh, top of the mountain, and then they went skiing down the mountain, and they had a blast during that vacation. The triplets went on this trip with their friends from college, and the college that the triplets attended was for Tropolis Bible College, which is a, a non-denominational Christian college located in the large town of for Tropolis, Hapshire. On Tuesday, July 14th, 2558, the small town of Nitron was hit with an aggressive blizzard and temperatures fell to negative 20 degrees Celsius. The blizzard started at 10 a.m. and Nitron Township Public Schools had to cancel school for that day due to the blizzard. The blizzard was violent as wind speeds clocked 240 kilometers per hour. The winters in Habtra are very windy. Several days before the blizzard, the triplets went to the local grocery store to stock up on food to prepare for the blizzard. The town had three blizzards throughout the winter of 2558. The most severe one was the July 14th blizzard, when the wind speed when wind speeds clocked 240 kilometers per hour. And the least severe one was the September 4th blizzard, where wind speeds only clocked 70 kilometers per hour. On Saturday, August 22nd, 2558, 
Nitron saw their first day above zero degrees Celsius since May of 2550-80, when the high for that day was 1 degrees Celsius, which arrived at 2 p.m. Throughout the rest of 2550-80, the twins were reading I mean, the triplets were creating more memories for that year and doing a lot of fun things with their family, friends, and the church. Haptra started to have warm weather again in late October of 2550-18. During the holiday season, families in Haptra were enjoying the holiday season and we were excited about Reformation Day, Nanometer Day, Christmas, and New Year's. The holiday season in this country is from October 31st through January 1st.